Hello friends, in this video we will see another rule to solve the psilocin related problem. So the rule is sum plus no will give sum not. Sum plus no will give sum not. Okay. So how to use this rule in solving the psilocin problems? Okay. So let us assume two syllogism statements are given and one is some books are toys. Some books are toys. And the second syllogism statement given is no tie is red. No tie is red. Okay. And the first conclusion given is some books are red. Some books are red. And the second conclusion given is some books are not red. Some books are not red. Okay. So if statement A is alone true, then we select option A. If statement B, I mean the conclusion B is true, then I mean conclusion 2 is true, then we select B. Okay, either one or either two is true. So then we select option C. Neither conclusion one true nor conclusion two is true. Then we select D. If both conclusions are true, one and two, then we select E. Okay, so now let's come to the the given two syllogism statements. These two are there. So if you see, the first syllogism is starting with some and the second syllogism is starting with no. So first one is starting with sum and second one is starting with no. So the resultant conclusion from these two syllogisms, whatever we are concluding, so that are go going to be start with sum. Okay, so that are going to be start with sum. So before applying this tool, we have to observe the predicate of the first statement. I mean the predicate of the first syllogism must be equal to the subject of the second syllogism. So here ties and here tie. So both are of same type. So that means we can apply this rule. Sum plus no is sum not. Okay. So now we first take the sum. Okay. First we take the sum. And then we take the subject from the first syllogism, given syllogism. That is books. Some books are. And then we use not. And then we use not. Some books are not. And here we take the predicate from the second one. Right. Here some books are not read. Right. Okay, so if you observe these two statements, the conclusion is matching with the uh, given conclusion too. So this one is true. Okay, some books are not right. Okay, so how to apply this some plus no, some not rule? So the first syllogism starts with some and the second syllogism starts with no. And the predicate of the first syllogism, I mean the type of the predicate is the first syllogism equivalent to the subject of the second syllogism. Right, so in that case, what we do? First we take the sum and after that we take the predicate, I mean subject from the first syllogism that is books are and then we use not and then we take the predicate from the second statement. So that is not right. Okay. So this is the actually declaration, I mean the uh, conclusion we derived from these two uh, given syllogisms. Right. So now another what we can derive from these two syllogisms are when some books are ties, then some ties are also books okay when some books are ties so we can write some ties are also books so what we can come from the first statement alone is some ties are books some ties are books so this one is derived from the first given syllogism alone okay if no tie is red then no red is tie then no red is tie Okay, so this one also we can derive from the second statement. Okay, if no tie is red, then no red is a tie. So these three conclusions we can derive from the given two uh, syllogisms, right? Okay, so now if you see the first one is matching with the second conclusion. Okay, the first der derivation, what we der derived conclusion is matching with the given second conclusion. But this first one, when some books are not read, then some books are read. Okay, if some books are not read, so then 
some books are not right so this one is completely opposite to the second conclusion so this one is going to be false okay this one is completely opposite to the this one if some books are already not read then some books are read so this is not possible so second one is the true from this the divide statement so that means actually the second conclusion alone is true so that means we have to select the option b we have to select the option b right so i hope you got this one some plus no is equal some not rule and uh, in the next video we will see another problem based on this some plus no give some not rule okay so i hope uh, you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel